Now we are going to see the first symbol in this fifth volume of the Eternal World Picture 5, also called the fifth symbol book. Symbol number 45 has the title The Human Body as a Stellar System. Martinus tries to make an experiment of thought. If we imagine that we magnify our own organism, so it is just as big as the universe that we can see in the sky, our body would look like this. Because Martino thinks, as natural science, <coughs> that all matter is constructed <coughs> from particles and empty space. In nuclear physics, we learn about atoms, but in the atoms there is an atom nucleus and electrons, but most of the structure of the atoms are empty space. And if we look out in the sky, we can see with our own eyes that it consists of particles and empty space. <coughs> Martinus talk about life in macrocosmos. We are in mesocosmos, which means plants, animals, human beings, and then we have microcosmos. Microcosmos consists of organ cells, molecules, atoms. But we know ourselves that we are living beings and our consciousness is in the empty space between the particles in microcosmos. <clears throat> Natural science talk about particles and empty space. And Martinus do, does the same. But Martinus thinks there is consciousness in the empty space. And what we can learn from microcosmos is that we know we are living beings. The organs are living, the cells are living. So what we can learn is that there is consciousness in the empty space. What we can learn from macrocosmos, at a night when we look at the sky, we can see with our own eyes that the matter is constructed by particles and empty space. There might be a little problem with mesocosmos. It looks as if our <coughs> organism, our body is massive, but it's just like um, an, an analogy. If you take a wheel of a bike, then you can see the empty space between the spokes. But if you rotate the wheel at a certain speed, then you cannot any longer see the empty space between the spokes. It looks as if the wheel has become massive. And Martino thinks it's the same because the electrons are moving. It looks for us as if it is massive. But to Martinus, it's very important that there is consciousness in the empty space. Once Martinus wrote an article entitled Particles, Empty Space and Thought Power because it is our consciousness that are controlling these particles. And down in our microcosmos, our thoughts control the particles. And for that reason, the, our consciousness decides if we are ill or if we are healthy. Martinus has drawn this symbol. You can see it is a human body and it looks as if it is lying down. Martinus just wants to show that in macrocosmos there is not up and down, not east and west and north and, and south. And um, Martinus says that the old word is above, so below, which means that macrocosmos is constructed in the same way as microcosmos. Now we are going to look at symbol number 46 and it is entitled The Human Beings, Atomic World and the Basic Energies. Martinus wants to stress that the, there is consciousness in the empty space. We talk about particles and empty space, but the empty space is not real because in the empty space there is consciousness that cannot be measured by natural science. And Martinus, in his cosmology, is talking about six basic energies, which he defines in his main work called The Book of Life, in Danish, Livets Bo. It is his main work, and it is in 3,000 pages in seven volumes. And in volume one and two, he describes the nature of the basic energies that we use in our consciousness. And Martinus has drawn these um, energies with different colors. 
And uh, if we look upon the human body magnified to the size of the visible universe, we can see that the energy of intelligence is penetrating or overshading the brain and the nervous system. And Martinus also talks about the energy of feeling and he used the yellow color for the energy of feeling and it penetrates or overshades the heart and the lung and the blood system, the cardiovascular system. And with the orange color, Martinus symbolizes the energy of gravity. It's an explosive energy that dominates in the physical world. In other symbols, Martinus explains that it's also a symbol of the animal kingdom. But it has an, an expanding force. It is a dynamic power behind all movements. The gravity energy is penetrating or overshading the digestive system. Um, our metabolism and the digestion has to be rather strong or dynamic because the food has to be broken down into smaller particles. And for that reason, an explosive energy is needed. The fourth energy is the energy of intuition. And in the future, when we get cosmic consciousness, we will get day conscious intuition. For example, Jesus, he was cosmic conscious. He had a lot of intuition. But in the animal kingdom, the divine spirit, the spirit of God, can only be experienced through the sexual organs. The cells in the sexual organs are the most sensitive cells in the body. It might sound rather strange, but if you should have an experience of God's spirit or the Holy Spirit in blood and flesh, that would be through the cells of the very sensitive sexual organs. So when we experience an orgasm or a sexual culmination, actually it is an unconscious experience of the Spirit of God or the Holy Spirit. And the fifth energy, which is symbolized with indigo, is the color of the energy of memory. And that also might sound very strange, that the energy of memory is penetrating or overshading the mineral regions of the body. Martinus, in his world picture, is talking very much about the mineral kingdom. He says, everything in the physical world is alive. But to us, it seems as if the mineral kingdom is dead. But Martinus explains that the minerals have their day consciousness on the spiritual plane. They have no consciousness on the physical plane. But they are living in an inner world on the spiritual plane where they are living in their memories for what they have experienced for millions or billions of years. When they have no feeling, no senses on the physical plane, they look for us as if they are dead. And the sixth basic energy Martinus has symbolized with the red color. And the red color symbolized the energy of instinct. And the instinct is related to skin and muscles. They are, they are working instinctively. So we have different organ systems that are overshaded or penetrated by different energies. But the main point is that there is not an absolute empty space. There is a consciousness in the empty space that reg regulates different particles in microcosmos. Now we are going to see symbol number 47, and it is the healthy human organism. We see the different basic energies on the different organs. We can see that with the yellow color, we have the energy of feeling, and the energy of feeling is overshading or penetrating the lungs, the heart, the blood system, and also the glands. And with Red color, Martino symbolize that the skin and muscles are penetrated by instinct energy. And here we see the digestive system. The stomach and the intestines are overshaded by the 
energy of gravity, which is an explosive energy. And we see that the liver is also penetrated by this energy of gravity because we have the metabolism in the liver. There, the, ex this explosive energy provides the energy to break down all the molecules that are needed to be breaking down in the digestion and the metabolism. And here we see the skeleton and it is painted with the indigo color, which symbolize the energy of memory that is governing the mineral kingdom. Martina thinks that all living beings have their own individual vibration. Also in biology, they are talking about bioelectricity. All plants have their electricity. In every plant cell, there are electrical potentials over the cell wall. The animals have different vibration. Everything has a vibration. So it's quite natural that every single organ has its own individual vibration. But science also has shown that the brain waves have different frequencies, different vibrations. I've heard about alpha, beta, gamma, delta waves, and they can measure these frequencies of vibration in hertz. So that means that the different thoughts has, a dif has their individual frequency and the organs have their individual frequency. For that reason, Martinus uh, claims that every thought has a specific effect on a specific organ. So if we have an illness in one specific organ, it's because that we have been thinking in a wrong way with specific thoughts. I find that is very logical as every individual thought has a vibration, every organ has its own vibration, there are certain vibrations, certain thoughts that has an influence on different organs. <coughs> on this symbol, we see that the colors are very pure. They are not mixed other energies into the different regions. This means that this human body is in a good health. But if we have sick and abnormal thoughts, we eventually also turn sick and abnormal. <coughs> and if we have healthy and normal thoughts, the organism and the different organs are also healthy and normal. It is the thoughts that provides the energy and the force and the power to maintain each individual organ. Now we are going to see symbol number 48, which is entitled illness in the human organism. We see the same symbol as before, but on the previous symbol, the area with lungs and heart was pure yellow. Now a foreign energy has penetrated. The explosive energy, the gravity energy has invaded this region and created an illness. According to Martinus, the, the uh, gravity energy can cause heart diseases and lung diseases. And it is because this person has be, been too angry. And for that reason, it has too much explosive energy. And this explosive energy invades a wrong area where it causes uh, illnesses. On the other hand, we can also see that this digestive system ought to be orange. There should only be the energy of gravity to maintain this system. But now, this system has been penetrated by the feeling energy, which is shown by the yellow color. So this means when you do not control your feelings, maybe because you get stressed, you get worried, you have too much feeling and you don't control your feeling energy, and then it can go into a wrong area and cause uh, diseases in the intestine, intestines or in, in the stomach. We can also see that here is the energy of intelligence that has entered the region of the muscles. And these can also create uh, illness and tensions in the muscles because there is a wrong energy that 
has entered the muscle system. <coughs> and here we have the skeleton and we see that there is an orange uh, color that has entered this indigo system, which means also that there has been too much explosive energy and this explosive energy has entered the skeleton system and created diseases in, in the bones. Martina thinks that uh, one illness could be enough to die from it, but now it's only a symbol, so he has drawn a lot of illnesses on the same symbol. But uh, ordinary, we only have one illness at a time. Now we are going to see symbol number 49. It is a microcosmic stellar system, an organic atomic world. Martinu thinks that atoms and molecules are living beings. And now we are down in the super microcosmos in our body. In atomic physics, we learn about 92 elements, about atoms and electrons. But here we are far below, we are in super microcosmos. But Martinus still used the words atomic uh, world because it is a world of particles, just like the atomic world. Martinus has shown here an atom nucleus in the foreground and two, two electrons. But it is also a whole universe, and you can see it is a little bit blurred here. In the summer night, we can also see the Milky Way. There's a blurred white band over the sky, but that is in, in the background. <clears throat> here in the foreground, Martin says it could also be a sun and two planets. He says it doesn't matter if you call it a sun or two planets, or you call it an atomic nu nucleus and two electrons. The main thing is that it is um, particles down in super microcosmos. <clears throat> and Martinus talks about um, that our thoughts are also made up of some material. <clears throat> there is thought power, and our thoughts are built up by energies. And there are physical and non-physical energies. We, for example, we are living in the physical world. We are incarnated beings. But when we die, we are discarnated beings. And there are also permanent beings on the spiritual plane. <clears throat> Sometimes people call them angels. But Martinus is talking about a spiritual world with perfect living beings. So we are discarnated when we are dead between two physical lives and when we are in the spiritual world more or less permanently. So we can understand from our world that we can in be influenced by the spiritual worlds. There are guardian angels that have an influence on the physical plane and Martinus is also talking about the principle of world redemption, that there are world redeemers, world saviors that are coming and planting a new culture on planet Earth. Here on the physical plane, we are very influenced by the spiritual world. In the same way, our thoughts are also made up by physical matter and spiritual matter. But this is in super microcosmos. So the physical matter in our thoughts is so small, so microscopic to us that we experience it as a spiritual energy. And Martinus called that coarse spiritual energy. So, coarse spiritual energy is physical thought particles. But they are so small to us that we experience them as if they are spiritual. And then there is a pure spiritual matter. So when we are thinking, we have a pure spiritual matter. But this pure spiritual matter has an influence on the coarse spiritual matter. And this is the link or the bridge from the thought to the illnesses or the health, because our thoughts have an influence on the physical particles in super microcosmos. If, for example, I had a wound on my hand, it could not be cured here in mesocosmos, then it has to be cured by going down into microcosmos 
super microcosmos. And when we are having the right thoughts, it can has, have its influence on the coarse spiritual matter, which is physical. And then it turns up to mesocosmos. And then I can become healed. Simple number 50 is entitled The Universe of Instinct, The Atom of Instinct, or the Solar System of Instinct. Now we are looking into a universe of instinct, which means that we are looking into a universe of muscles and skin. And in the foreground, we have an atom nucleus and we have two electrons. But Martina says it could also be a sun and two planets. And then there is a kind of a perspective. Here, with the blurred figures, we see a thing we could remind about our own Milky Way. And as I said before, the red color symbolizes the energy of instinct, and it penetrates and overshades the muscles and the skin. And when Martinus is talking about an atom, it is not the 92 elements and the atoms we hear about in nuclear physics. It's far below. And we have different kind of thoughts and our thought should be able to provide the right amount of instinct to maintain healthy muscles and skins. If we have too little instinct or if we have too much instinct, we will eventually turn ill. It's about to have the right balance and it's about living in a normal way. Now we are going to look upon symbol number 51. We are going to see on a universe of gravity or an atom of gravity or a solar system of gravity. We see the whole symbol is colored by the orange color. And the orange color is in Martina's symbols, the symbol of the animal kingdom, and it's also a symbol of the energy of gravity, which is an explosive energy. It is the force or power behind every movement. This energy is predominant in the digestive system, in stomach and intestines, and in the liver, in the metabolic uh, system. And we have to have a certain amount of gravity energy in order to break down the food. But Martins also compares to the sun. If we say here in the foreground, this is a sun, these two particles in the foreground would be two planets. It could also be an atom, nucleus, and two electrons. And this is the rest of the universe seen in a certain perspective. But Martino thinks that there is energy from the spiritual world that comes into the physical world. So in a way, the sun is transforming spiritual energy into physical energy. A lot of life power and life force flows into the physical world through the sun. And if this is the sun and we have two planets here, <coughs> it's evident that too much sun is bad. If we have too much sun, for example in Sahara, it will turn into a desert. If we have too little sun, we will have a desert of ice, we will have the North Pole and South Pole, it would be Arctic conditions. <coughs> so it is about the having a golden middle way. And in order to have healthy digestive system, healthy organs, healthy liver, it's very important that you have the right amount of this explosive energy. Symbol number 52 is entitled The Universe of Feeling the atom of feeling or the solar system of feeling. The region 
of the energy of feeling is the lungs, the heart, and the whole blood system, the vascular system. And this energy has to be um, provided in a certain amount. Just as I said before with the sun, too much sunshine is too bad and too little sunshine is also bad. We have to have the right amount of sunshine. So our consciousness, sh consciousness should also provide the right amount of feeling energy. And here we could say we have a feeling atom and two feeling electrons. Or we could say this is a sun and this is two planets. And the region here is, <clears throat> as I said, in our lungs, in our heart, but maybe also in our uh, glands. And this energy of feeling can be uh, disturbed if we are too stressed, if we are too nervous, if we can't control our feelings. Symbol number 53 is entitled the universe of intelligence, the atom of intelligence or the solar system of intelligence. The energy of intelligence is penetrating or overshading our brain and nervous system. And Martinus uh, explains how spiritual power is shining into the physical world. In our world, we live on a planet, and we could not live on this planet without sunshine. I guess all sources of energy here on planet Earth comes from the sun. Even atomic energy comes from the sun. So the sun is providing its planets with energy and power. And in the same way, our consciousness is also going to provide our brain and nervous system with the right amount of energy of intelligence. There should not be too much or too little. If, for example, we, our consciousness, are providing the system with too much energy of intelligence, this intelligence would penetrate into other organs, into other areas where it don't belong, and that could co cause collisions and illness. For that reason, it's important to think in the right way. Symbol number 54 is the universe of intuition the atom of intuition or the solar system of intuition. Intuition is the highest spiritual energy that exists. And the most sensitive cells in the animal kingdom are the sexual cells or the sexual organs. And to somebody it might, strange, it might sound strange that the energy of intuition, which represents the God, the Spirit of God, or the Holy Spirit, is penetrating the sexual organs. The highest experience in the animal kingdom is the feeling of sexual culmination. And this is the biggest light in the animal kingdom. So in a way, the animals have access to the divine spirit. Martinus is talking about an eternal life. And in previous epochs, in previous spiral cycles, the animals had cosmic consciousness, which means consciousness of God. But it has used this consciousness so much that it has started to work automatically. And when things work automatically, it has turned into instinct. This means that in the sexual life, we have an instinctive experience of the spirit of God. But now we are developing a new cosmic consciousness. We are going to have a conscious cosmic consciousness in the future. And if you read a book based on intelligence, if you study chemistry, physics, math, economy, 
then you are training your body of intelligence. If you are reading poetry or working with art, you are stimulating your body of feeling. But Martinus' collected works are written on the basis of intuition. So if you read the works of Martinus and tries to understand his analysis that are written on the basis of intuition, you are actually stimulating or activating your body of intelligence. And Martinus also talked a lot about when we have a developed feeling, we have developed intelligence, and feeling and intelligence is in harmony, we will have access to day conscious intuition. So we are still having some of the old cosmic consciousness through the sexual organs, which are overshaded by intuition. But now we are going to develop a conscious cosmic consciousness. Simple number 55 is entitled The Universe of Memory or The Atom of Memory or the Soul or the solar system of memory. It might also sound strange to many that the energy of memory is connected to the mineral regions of the bodies. We have teeth and hair and nails and bones, skeleton and so on. These are the mineral parts of our organism. Uh, in Martinus' cosmology in general, he is talking about three different life units on the physical planes. On the physical plane, we have minerals, we have plants, and we have animals. And the minerals have no consciousness on the physical plane. They have their day consciousness on the spiritual plane. But in the spiritual world, they are living in the energy of memory. They are remembering previous lives on the physical plane. They are starting to penetrate the physical plane. The consciousness is moving permanently, more or less, from the spiritual world into the physical world. And the first step is to attract physical matter. The next step we see with plants. Plants have some consciousness on the physical plane. They can feel if it's pleasant or unpleasant, but they cannot really think. They cannot experience day conscious pain and well-being. The plants have a vague presentiment of what is happening. They can register if the sun is shining, if it's cold or warm. They can feel if it's pleasant or it is unpleasant. So plants have more consciousness on the physical plane than minerals. But animals, they have a nervous system, they have a brain, they are day conscious on the physical plane. They can feel realistic pain and well-being. They have their day consciousness moved from the spiritual world to the physical world. And we also have this memory energy in our consciousness. And our consciousness is also providing energy to the mineral regions. Our consciousness is maintaining these mineral regions. With too little or too much of the energy of memory, we can eventually turn ill. Symbol number 56 is entitled Healthy Atomic Activity in the Organism. And we have seen on the previous symbols that we have here in the foreground a sun with two electrons. Could also be an atom, nucleus, and two electrons. And at the previous symbols, we have seen an empty space between the sun and the planets, or an empty space between the atom nucleus and the electrons. But now we see there's a lot of structures between the sun and the planets, which shows that there is consciousness in the empty space. And here Martinus 
has drawn on atomic system of gravity. The orange color here symbolize the energy of gravity. So uh, it's a um, gravity atom or a gravity solar system. But what is shown here is also valid for the other basic energies. Martinus has only drawn this situation for the energy of gravity. But here we see the red color symbolized the energy of instinct. It would be the same for the instinct energy. It would be the same for the energy of feeling with yellow color and the energy of intelligence with green color and the energy of intuition with blue color and the energy of memory with indigo color. It is the same situation. Here we have a sun that is providing its planets with energy. You can see that through these channels, energy is flowing from the sun to its planets or from the atom nucleus to the electrons. But it is not these atoms that we know about in nuclear physics. It's not the 92 elements. It's far below in super microcosmos. It's far below what they can detect in CERN in, in Switzerland. Uh, it, is my, it is microcosmic particles of microcosmic particles. It's really down in microcosmos. But the general idea by Martinus is that spiritual energy is turned into energy on the physical plane. It's transformed. It's transforming life power, life energy, spiritual energy into energy in the physical world. And here we have a healthy activity. We see energy is flowing towards the planet. The sun is sending energy to the different planets through these symbolic channels. Now we see some yellow and green structures, which means that in our consciousness it's very important with the energy of feeling and with the energy of intelligence. And they must have a good balance. Martinus talks about we can have too much feeling and too little intelligence. In that case, we have a tendency to spoil our children. They want unhealthy food and we give it to them because we cannot <coughs> take that they are uh, crying. Also, if you are helping people in a wrong way, you can do favors to people that are not an advantage for them. So you have to use your love and energy of feeling in an intellectual way. So Martina says the feelings must be intellectualized. Sometimes we feel we want to help, but the result is not good because it's a little kind of a naive solution. If, on the other hand, we have too much intelligence and too little feeling, we can become criminals and it can also be military system. We are exploiting people so also in wars and when criminality and so on, too much intelligence without any feeling and love is also bad. So the intelligence should be humanized. And Martinus is playing with these two notions. The feelings should be intellectualized and the intelligence should be humanized. And when you have this perfect balance between feeling and intelligence, you are a very wise person. You are living in a big health and you are very tolerant towards your uh, surroundings. So in this situation we see that there is health in the organism because there is such a good balance in the consciousness between feeling and intelligence. And there is also some relationships between the different planets that Martinus has not explained in any further detail. But the whole symbol shows normal activity, which is a symbol of good health in the organism. Symbol number 57 is about the explosion of electrons in the human being's atomic world. 
If we look at this symbol, we can see the same structure as in the previous symbol. Here we have a sun and its two planets, or an atom nucleus and two electrons. And it is still an atom of gravity, an, en an atom of explosion energy, because it could also be the case for an instinct atom, feeling atom, intelligence atom, intuition atom, or memory atom. But now we see too much energy is flowing to the is flowing to the pla to the planets. So there is a very strong explosion in the consciousness of the human being. There is a lot of anger. This person is ag aggressive. Is very angry. And this means that it has too much explosive energy. And then too much explosive energy is flowing to the planets. And then the planets get too much energy. And they might collide. And we know if met meteors are hitting the Earth, if the Earth is colliding with another planet, it would be a big catastrophe. And once Martinus showed a slide of two galaxies that were colliding in the universe. And of course, that would mean a big catastrophe. Even if the planet doesn't collide exactly, there would be shock waves of magnetism and electricity and heat. It is a huge catastrophe when two galaxies are colliding. And Martinus just simply said, this is macrocosmic illness. And it is a, the principle is the same as in microcosmos, or I should rather say super microcosmos, far below the normal atomic level. There are small collisions, and this is illness in microcosmos. If we just get a red, a little red dot, uh, a little thin, then this, the cause is not only one collision, but millions of collisions in microcosmos. And there is some error, some mistakes in our consciousness. In the r yellow color, in the feelings, we see some twisted red and dark structures. These figures, red and black, in all Martin's symbols, symbolize the killing principle. This person do not control its consciousness, has turned too aggressive, too angry, and it is not controlled by the feelings. And then we see the killing principle in the consciousness. So actually, it is an unbalanced consciousness that causes these microcosmic collisions.